quick little update here, YouTube. Again, this is Go Sticker Go Home, and my name is Neil. Um, interesting thing that I, I figured out about uh, these rod bolts. So these rod bolts are used on F23s, H23, JDM engines, some of the K series, maybe, I don't know if they're on the F20B or not, they might be, but anyway, um, they're, they're rod bolts, they're not rod studs, okay? Um, a lot of the B series engines, I think the D series maybe, I'm not sure, um, they have, it's like a stud thing that sticks through one end of the talk while I take these out real quick. It, uh, it sticks through one end of the rod, like it's on the rod end of the big end of the rod, if that makes sense. So, whereas these bolts, these seem kind of beefy for stock, stock rod bolts, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe that's just my, you know, lack of exposure to like big V8s or something, but like for Hondas, these seem pretty beefy. Um, I eh, can't really get that off. It's already kind of pressed on there. But anyway, on... I don't know if you can... Here, let me... Let me lower y'all down real quick here. Boom, there we go. So, you can see this real quick. Before I lose all my parts. Right, you can see these go in here like this and then you screw them in that way. Um, I think a lot of the B18s and some of the other H series, there's a stud thing that has like a cap on one end and then it sticks out of that and that slides up in through the rod and then you put a nut on it up here. Um, and that's how those go together. These are an actual bolt, they go in and there's actually two torque specs for these. One is 34, pound feet of torque and the other is 19 pound feet and then a quarter turn so that's 90 degrees right and i looked at that and i'm like why are there two of these now by the way you usually when you see a torque spec that is a torque and then a degree of turn that is called a torque to yield um bolt and what that means, right, what that means is that you're actually torquing the bolt past its uh, yield point. So it goes from being, it goes from being elastic to plastic, I think. I might have those flipped. It might go from plastic to elastic, but I think it's, I think it, um, and not physically turn the bolt into plastic, but or, or whatever, or elastic, but it's the property of the metal. So once you torque it past its yield point, essentially, you've ruined the integrity of the, the metal itself. And you can, sometimes you can visually see that a bolt has been stretched, right? You can actually see that. Um, and head bolts on some engines are like this. Rod bolts are apparently like this on some engines. Uh, from what I can tell, I've, never seen a Honda engine bolt that couldn't be reused, so maybe that's not even, uh, maybe that doesn't put it past its its yield point. But usually when you see a procedure that is an, an amount of torque applied, and then like a quarter turn or an eighth turn or 30 degrees or, you know, 180 degrees or whatever it is, that is called a torque to yield because you're torquing it to a, to a point and then you're pulling it past the amount of torque that will ruin the integrity of the metal. And the reason that you do this is that makes the bolt a one-time use, but during that use, it has better clamping force because now it can kind of stretch and like pull back on whatever it is. Um, and that's why some head bolts use it, and that's why apparently some rod bolts use it. Now, what's interesting about this is the same bolt here the same bolt, right? This bolt that I just put in the engine, that bolt is used for both a 34 pound foot spec and a 19 pound feet plus 
90 degree turn what looks like a torque to yield spec. And I was like, how can that be? Because 34 pound feet is way past, way, way past 19 pound feet. That's almost double, right? Here's the funny part. When you go to put these rod bolts in, and you go to torque them down. Now, you might not be able to see this when I do it. Hopefully you can. This is set to 34 pound feet, right? Ah, oh, you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it. So we're gonna tighten this one, right? And I still like to get them a little, a little close. Okay, so this, Right there, right about there is like 19 pound feet, right? So a quarter turn would be here, all right? Watch where it hits 34 pound feet. Foot pounds, pound feet, foot pounds. Right there. That's 34 foot pounds, there it is. It says it on the torque wrench, foot pounds. That's 34 foot pounds. So it was here, this would be 90 degrees, that, is slightly less than 45 i think so doing 19 pound foot pounds plus 90 degree turns of rotation probably is torque to yield and this is less than that so that's how the same bolt can be used for these two because going from here to here goes from 19 to 34. so that was uh, something interesting that I actually wanted to test because I saw both of the torque specs and I was like, how can you have the same when 34 pound feet is well past, um, well past 19. So anyway, this has been a technical service bulletin from Go Stick or Go Home. Again, my name is Neil. If you guys you know, want to keep up with what I'm doing and my ridiculousness, hit like, hit subscribe. Catch you next time.